Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on how to unlock all the trophies and achievements in Coffee Talk. To get started on this one, make your profile unlock the first achievement called Welcome to Coffee Talk. Once this is done, you'll then want to head into Endless Mode and enter Free Brew. Here's where we're going to unlock a few more achievements. We'll come back to Challenge Mode at the end, so don't worry about it for now. Once you load in, we're going to make all the coffee recipes so we can unlock the first brew and master brew with trophies and achievements. Just follow the recipes and you'll make them all pretty fast. This will also come in handy during the Story Mode. Once you finish making all the drinks, turn on your phone menu and go to the music player. Scroll all the way to the top of the list and press the confirm button to play a song. Then quickly scroll down the list and press confirm on each song to play each song fast. This unlocks the trophy for listening to all the songs in the game. You don't need to listen to the music all the way. Now that you've done this, we can finally begin the story mode. However, before starting it, I highly recommend you go into settings and turn on the instant text and skip all dialogue options. This will allow you to hold the fast forward button to get through the story very fast. Once you're ready, go ahead and start the story mode. On the first day, we're going to get quite a few trophies and achievements in quick succession for doing a variety of things. First, we're going to work on the trashing drinks trophy which requires us to trash one drink and also the one that requires 25 drinks. This has to be done in story mode though. There's a hard limit of 5 trashings per day or level, but you can reload and do it in one day or use 5 per day as you play the story to keep moving forward. Make sure that after trashing 5 drinks, serve the 6th drink to make sure it registers the trashings. Before fully committing to the first day, we're also going to serve the wrong drink. Once you serve the wrong drink, reload the chapter, we'll need to make sure to serve most of the right drinks to get all the trophies. Here are the correct options for day 1. The first order is an espresso. The second order, any chocolate drink. The third order, a cafe latte, then latte art it. Once you start making latte art though, you'll get another trophy. But before serving it, make sure to stay in the art design screen for one real hour to also unlock another achievement. Make sure to pour the milk before you go idle so it considers you working on latte art. Otherwise, it won't count. I also suggest you use a timer to keep track of the hour. Once it's passed, serve the drink to unlock the trophy and achievement. I do want to warn Xbox players. When I was attempting this trophy, this game kept crashing slightly before the one hour mark. I'm not sure what was causing it, but it mostly happened when I went idle longer than 10 minutes at a time. If you keep playing during the latte portion, either holding a trigger, randomly drawing things, you should be fine. Keep in mind, as soon as you confirm one hour after pouring the milk, then serve the drink to complete it. The fourth order is going to be the green tea latte. You can also do the art portion here, or you can just serve it. Once you get to day two, here are the correct orders. The first order is honey coffee. The second order is espresso. The third is going to be milk ginger coffee, or any coffee with a ginger combo. The fourth is going to be the same as the last order you made, so if you made something different for me, repeat the last order. In day three, the first order is honey milk, and the second is plain milk. After serving the second customer, you're going to unlock the achievement unlock trophy and achievement. The third order is an espresso. The fourth is the drink called cough syrup. Once on day four, the first drink is going to be some ginger green tea. The second, honey tea. The third, a green tea latte. And you end the day with the Galahad. On day five, the first drink is anything you want. The second, cafe latte. The third is masala chai. On day six, the first is Russian tea, the second is espresso, and the final drink for the day is STMJ. On day seven, you're gonna do Galahan for the first drink, a ginger latte for the second. On day eight, the first drink is Galahan, the second drink is ginger mint tea, and the third is gonna be the Milky Way. After unlocking Neil's card, you're going to get the We Are All Friends Now trophy and achievement. For day nine, the first drink is the Marrakesh, the second, the Titeric, the third is the Chocobi Maruku, the fourth is the Spanish Sahara. For the tenth day, the first is an espresso, and for the second, Jahi Tubrook. Day 11 is a special day. There's going to be a total of three drinks served on this day, however, Drink number two has got two possible choices. The first drink for this day is the Bitter Heart. Now for the second one, the customer is going to ask for an espresso. You can give them this drink if you want, or you give them the correct drink, which is called the Bed Chamber. This is going to unlock the true ending after you've beaten the game at least one time, so you can't actually unlock it on the first playthrough. The third drink is the gingerbread coffee. After serving the third drink, you unlock the love of my life trophy. The fourth drink here is going to be the Galahad again. After serving the drink, you're going to get the Galahad of Fit trophy and achievement. On day 12, the first drink is the sugar and spice drink. The second one, Galahad again. The third, a coffee latte. And the final drink for the day is the milk. On day 13, the first drink is an espresso. And the second one is dark chocolate. After serving the drink, you unlock the father and daughter and the social media fever trophies and achievements. There's going to be a small time skip of two weeks and it will land on October 18th. This is technically day 14 and it'll be the final day. Once you watch the epilogue, you're going to unlock a handful of trophies and achievements. The first one, 
there's a spark. Second, interstellar support. And the last one is, is that it? If you served all the correct drinks and you gave the bedchamber drink on day 12, you're also gonna unlock the art connoisseur trophy and achievement. If you didn't do it the first time around, that's perfectly fine. Since during the epilogue, you'll be told the specific moments where you need to go back and replay to see different dialogue spoken. Simply load the following days and serve all the drinks for the day like normal. Once you play the day to the finish, save, then repeat for the next days that you're requested. Make sure to load from your in-game menu and do not quit to the main menu as this is going to reset the tracker and it won't count. Once you reach the fourth day, when Freya asks you for an espresso, make sure to give her the bedchamber and then play the game until the end again. If you did this right, the epilogue is going to be different than the first time around and you'll unlock the God of Caffeine Trophy and Achievement. Now that we're almost done, there's three more trophies and achievements that we need to work on that are related to the Endless Challenge mode. Those three are Barista Trini, Barista Expert, and Barista Guru. Now, this mode is interesting as there's a few rules in here that are different compared to the rest of the game. First, you have a time limit. This limit is not per customer and is instead an overall limit for the mode. You need to make sure that the timer doesn't reach zero or else the session will end. However, you don't lose time for serving the wrong drinks. Each time you serve a correct drink, you're gonna get some time back to keep going. In order to get these final trophies and achievements, we need to serve 50 drinks in one session. They don't need to be in a row, so you can make mistakes. If the timer reaches zero after you complete a drink but haven't served it yet, then the game will let you serve the drink and if the customer accepts it you get time back which can come in handy if you're coming close to failing when it comes to customers they will ask you for a drink in a variety of ways the longer you play they can list out the ingredients for the drinks that they want this is usually the first eight drinks they can ask you for very specific drinks by name this is usually between drinks 9 through 20. Once you go past 20 drinks, they'll start asking for qualities in a drink that they're looking for. This is when things get more vague and you have to play it by ear, as these will be the types of drinks you're going to serve the most of. The drinks requested are random each session, which means you'll need to pay attention to the ingredients themselves or the drinks they ask for as you receive them. My best recommendation is to get a little familiar with the qualities of the ingredients in practice mode. This way, before you commit to a run, you have an idea as to what effects are active in each ingredient. When a customer is requesting a drink, they will use an adjective to describe the quality of the drink that they want. These will be the clues that you'll need to pay attention to to make the drinks. When you see the word not used, this means the meter for that quality needs to be at zero. When less is used, this means it must have a minimum of one square, but no more than three. If there's no adjective used to describe the quality, this means that they want it to be between four to six squares in that category. And finally, when they use the word extra, this means they want it to be at seven or full in that particular category. Once you finish every other unlockable, you'll get the last trophy and achievement called Coffee and Chill. If you need extra help in challenge mode, I recorded myself off script trying to unlock this myself. It took me three full attempts as I learned how the mechanics of this mode worked, so please give it a watch if you need some extra help. If you found this video helpful, then consider giving it a like as it really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.